Hello, welcome to Virus K247. My name is Henry Waters, and if this is your first time of watching my videos, please hit that subscription button and turn on the notification icon bell so that when I release new videos, you'll be the first to see it. Okay, and today's tutorial will be teaching you the basics of uh, PHP as a beginner. Uh, the topics that I'll be handling were syntax, PHP syntax, comments, and variables. Make sure you stick to the end of this video because you are going to learn a new thing. Okay, before I start, I will be showing you my where my starter files is. This is my C drive. Uh, this under C drive, this is my WAMP. I make use of WAMP server. WAMP www then this folder beginners this is where i have my index.php this is the file i'll be using so just stick around and you will learn a new thing okay right the basic php syntax the php script can be placed anywhere in the documents it can be placed on top of the html tags it can be placed anywhere but I'll be putting it in between the body tags, okay? And the PHP script starts with less than tag, a question mark, then PHP, and it ends with what? With a close tag of question mark with a greater than sign, okay? In between it is where uh, PHP codes are being placed, just like here. This is a comment line comment line tells you what next to do it doesn't execute any meaningful code on your web page okay so php code goes in here all right so i'll be making use of a script that uses a built-in php function it is called uh, an echo okay what this does it attributes uh, PHP as you can also as a HTML tags as well. All right, I will echo. After echo, you have a double quotes or a single quotes. This is where you put uh, in your strings. That is strings or HTML tags. So I want to add put hello. Programmers in my browser. Then PHP has a uh, uh, semicolon. This is placed at the end of every PHP code. This is statement that shows that the code has ended. Okay, every PHP code always has a semicolon. So when I save this, go back to the browser and refresh, I can see the text was printed saying hello programmers as I have here okay the next thing up well, is PHP key sensitive in PHP key was example like if else while echo etc classes function and user defined function are not case sensitive what I mean now for example Making use of this echo, let me clean that. You can have echo in capital letters. For example, echo, semicolon, low. This is not case sensitive. Okay, this is the string I want to output. Now, just like I said before, I have my uh, end statement with a semicolon you must put that or else there will be an error okay? put the semicolon save that See, this echo is in capital letter so it doesn't matter all right i'll put that then under it i'll just put another echo let me make my h a capital letter with o sorry So guys, again with the semicolon closes. When I save that, then come here and refresh. See, hello, this is not case sensitive. Then 
the next echo is what hello guys let me add a, a html pack a brick pack okay let me add it there so that hello guys will be on the next line when i refresh this see hello guys so that's why i said php case sensitivity does not affect if statement else statement while echo and many others even classes functions and also user defined functions as stated earlier okay there is an exception to this when it comes to variable for example i will erase this uh, a variable starts with a dollar sign i will treat that later on let's uh, let me give my variable name as uh, name no. uh, food okay it is a variable and i will define it and give it a index name in the text okay food give it in next name of pizza then don't forget ends with the semicolon all right when we add put this echo my favorite food is Then I will concatenate to add a variable inside the, the string. You can concatenate it by adding a period. Then the variable name, variable food, another period, and we'll add another string. Break it. And it all ends with a semicolon. All right. When you have this, for example, I will show you why there's an exception when it comes to case sensitivity. Okay. For example, copy this and make this a capital letter and save. When you refresh it. As you can see, my favorite food is pizza. Okay, the variable name food have an index name of pizza. Looking at this variable, it is with the same cases, all in small letters, but here. The first letter is in capital letter, so for that reason, it will throw an error which it has because it is not defined. The same here, notice undefined variable food in capital letter. So, when it comes to case sensitivity, it is different in variables. It must have the same uh, capital letters or small letters. It must be the same when it comes to variables. Okay, so now if we now define the food, give it a variable with capital letter, then equals to string orange. Remember, it ends with a semicolon. And if we refresh this, see the error is out. error is out showing that my favorite food is what orange picking up the index name of this variable placing it here all right so when adding a variable to a string you always remember to incontinate it a period before the variable then the variable then after it the period okay
if you can see i added the break line html type break so that the next output will start from a new line all right okay okay holding over to comment in php code uh, comment in php is a line that is not executed as part of the program okay uh, it's only used for the purpose for you to understand what you did the last time and also for others to read and also understand what you are doing comments can also be used to remind you of what you are thinking why you wrote the code for example i'll show you a comment a single line comment a double line comment for example a single line comment have a forward slash double forward slash um this is a single line comment okay this doesn't do anything on the code this is just to tell you what you're about doing and what you did or it's also sometimes it explains uh what your code is all about depending on the program uh the developer okay so when you refresh this see it doesn't show anything because this is just a comment it doesn't execute any form of code and it's called a single line another single line comment is uh dollar sign hashtag sorry is is also a single line comments okay when you refresh this again nothing see this is just a comment okay so i'm going to show you how you can also use comment to leave out parts of the code for example um i have a variable name of x or let me say add then equal to i want to add two integers let me say 10 plus 5 then remember it, it always ends with a semicolon put down a semicolon then under it then i'll add put whatever the value of this uh, variable gives I'll, I'll put it what i will be putting will be the, this variable okay then call it then ends with the semicolon when i save it go over to my browser and refresh see it has put 15 which is 10 plus 5 now I'm going to show you how you can use comment to leave out parts of a code line. Now, for example, if I have a comment in between this, um, for example, when I add six, okay. Wait, I want to make use of multi line comment and six to this and close that. See, let me add a plus sign there. So, this is a multi line comment, just like this. If you have a forward slash. And it's the, this is a multi line comment. Okay. Then you close it with a star and the forward slash. See, you place this there. Now you save it. Looking at this, this code right here won't run because is between a comment line okay it will not execute once i refresh this page i will still have 15 as my answer okay so sorry refresh that see nothing changes because it's in a comment line but once i remove it this code will run all 
right? It is a variable that starts with um, a dollar sign with name add, which is equal to 10 plus 6 plus 5, ending with a semicolon. When I output this variable name, it will output the result of this, okay? Since I've added 6, 10 plus 6 is 16 plus 5 is 21. When I refresh this, okay, sorry, I haven't saved it. So before you refresh, make sure you save your, your file, okay? Then refresh that, see, 21. There have been some changes to our code. So I'm going to head over next to variables in in detail so you understand how to use it in your code okay in variable now i'll just clean this variable i've thought your variable starts with a dollar sign and you can give it a name the variable can have a very short name it can be just with one uh, letter name can be double depending on what you want to do for example text i would define it and declare it and give it an index name remember if it's a string you you have to put a double uh, quotation a double or single okay. even if you use a single quote it works okay. i'll leave this in single i'll just say Hello friends. Alright. Remember it ends with a semicolon. Leave that there. Then now define another variable. Give it name of M. Then an integer of five. Remember integers cannot go in, in a string. If we put that inside will work but when you want to perform an arithmetic operation it will not work even if you put it inside a string like a, a, a single quotation mark it will still output its value but when you have like an operation like 5 plus 10 for example echo output This variable name m close with a semicolon over here refresh that 5 plus 10 so since it's in a, a quotation single quotation mark it sees this as a string this would add up okay but when you want when you remove that the single quotes save it and refresh see it works okay so that is just that and don't forget rules that are in php variables i'll state the rules for you one a variable starts with a dollar sign which i have here or this variable starts with a dollar sign um, followed by the name of the variable here is text then second is a variable name must start with a letter or the underscore character for example let me have a new variable name um, dollar sign let me say h h underscore mine see so me a uh, single column single quotation mark sorry um rtas Okay. Ends with a semicolon as well. Then if I echo that, echo my age underscore mine. Let me comment this. Commenting this line of code will make it not to run. Okay? The value of 5 plus 10 will not execute because the line has been commented. When I save this, and refresh see we have 30 years old this is very very simple so it means that a variable name must also start with a letter or 
the underscore character this is the underscore character okay now third the variable name cannot start with a number for example if you change this with eight and change the name it save that refresh see it was an error unexpected string name so it doesn't start with a number it must start with what a character all right the second rule uh, is a variable names are case sensitive apps i've illustrated that earlier but i'll just do that again for example as i have this if I come here in order to output uh, this string here, change the, the, the case sensitive to a capital letter A instead of a small letter A and save that. If I come here and refresh, see another error has been thrown on the find variable age underscore mine. So meaning this variable is not defined. It doesn't recognize it because the case has uh, change all right so don't forget that a variable name can only contain alphanumeric characters for example letters and underscores as well okay right if you learned any new thing in this video please don't forget to subscribe if you have not hit that red subscription button so that next time i release news video you'll be the first to get the notification okay if you love this video please also like if you have any question leave that in the comment section i will attend to them all right i will see you next time bye bye